Hi everyone from Cafe, Rob here with Select Entertainment. Uh, we really missed working with everybody this summer and obviously we're, we're looking forward to next summer when things can hopefully get a little bit back to normal. Uh, until then, we had our performers put together this video sharing some of their favorite stories from fairs from over the years. I uh, really hope you enjoy it and we'll look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye. Hi folks, Pete Oldridge, uh, lead singer and bass player from the Velvet Hand. Uh, really missing out on uh, all the fairs this year. Uh, I was just reflecting too on some of my favorite memories from fair performances. Uh, one in particular that stands out is when someone just kind of came up on stage in the middle of a song uh, and we were playing this uh, Hey Jude actually and you know we're a little bit freaked out. Uh, sure enough they come up toward the microphone and they kill it like it was amazing. All these vocal trills and they're getting their hands engaged and up in the air was like uh, some kind of uh, old church revival or something. Anyway, it was really phenomenal. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say too, just that uh, we're just so looking forward to the opportunity to come out and perform again uh, at fairs. And there's something so great about the community spirit at fairs. Uh, and uh, yeah, all the best. Stay safe, everybody. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm with the acapella music group Hoja, and uh, my funniest memory from a fair definitely would be uh, this one time we were about two songs into our show, and uh, we're doing a lot of choreography, like going down into squats and up. It was actually a disco song, and our bass singer <laughs> went down into a squat and uh, just <laughs> like ripped the back of his pants like wide open. And I remember looking over at him, going like, "Was that sound what I thought it was?" And he looks back at me, and he's kind of like. Oh, and so I look back to assess the damage. I'm like, for some reason he wasn't wearing underwear. I, I think we hadn't done laundry, like we'd been there for a week. And so his bare buns are just like right there. And so we're just like, I guess the show must go on. So we just kept uh, performing. He's trying to do his choreography without letting anyone in the front, you know, see his profile or anything. And uh, we made it through the entire show and we were the only ones that knew. Uh, there were no indecent exposure, you know, charges filed that day. And uh, it all turned out in the end, uh, so to speak. Uh, that's my story. I just also wanted to say, I guess, just uh, we were so looking forward to this summer, you know, coming out to the Maritimes. A lot of us had never been to the East Coast before, and, you know, so heartbreaking to have it be canceled, but we really look forward to it being rescheduled and uh, seeing you all next year. We love seeing different parts of Canada. We love meeting all the new people. Just hope everybody's staying safe, and uh, take care. Hey, everyone. That's Noah. And that's Joey. And together we are Three Hat Circus, and today we're going to talk to you about our favorite bit. And the first time that we ever got to do so it. So I have this act. It's a six-foot balloon. I, I fill it up, and then I climb inside it. And people just love it. Yeah, it, it's pretty amazing, you know? But, like, obviously now we have this giant box of giant balloons, and, like, we always kind of wondered, like, what else can we do with these things, you know? And so this one time before a show, we had a bit of time, and I fill up the balloon all the way to six feet, and I look over at Noah, and I'm like, Noah? Follow me. I put it on my head and I just wander out towards stuff and people. Okay, so like I'm following behind this guy and I'm quickly realizing that like he's gonna crash, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to steer him and I'm trying to like apologize to the people around, like, oh, I'm so sorry for my friend. Like I have no idea how this happened. And, oh. and, and I can't see anything. Like I'm inside the balloon and so my hands are out and I'm just like I'm on the ground and I'm crawling over and I'm on top of no one. I'm like, where am I going? So this is like obviously what I realized that A, this is a pretty great bit oh, so and B, good. I definitely get the best job out of the two of us because mm -hmm. I got to see the looks on everybody's faces as this guy just like walks <laughs> by with like a giant balloon stuck to his head. It and, was pretty amazing. Yeah, and so we did it once and we did it again and again before and after shows and it turned into one of our favorite ridiculous things that we do. Definitely, definitely our favorite. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think I think that's what we miss the most lately is just like the opportunity to, to be silly with people. Mm -hmm. And we are honestly so excited to create new and safe ways of being goofy with people again. Yeah, because you know, if you ask us, like goofiness is an essential service too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you everybody. Bye. Bye. G'day everybody in the fair community. Yeah, uh, the good old boys at some, ooh, I'm getting a few bites here today. Um, been here from the laughing loggers out here. Uh, in the office doing a bit of social distancing in this special year tell you what i haven't really got a joke other than i've got to tell you as uh, part of the bc fairs community and in fact the uh, directors of the commercial members for bc fairs it's been a pretty special year i've got to say i've been more inspired than ever 
about how committed and the grit that these BC fears have had. Those that have been able to go forward with virtual fears, safaris, and uh, drive-in type shows. It's been absolutely epic to be a part of this year. And I tell you what, I can't wait till 2021 when we get out there and we're able to unleash ourselves again. Until then, I hope all you good folks have tight lines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My name is Don Bryant, and uh, this is my friend Millsworthy. Say hello. Hello, 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 hello. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do a little reminiscing. Reminiscing? Yeah. What's that mean? Well, we're going to talk about the past. That's all we got. Yeah, well. Yeah. No, uh, the, the fairs. Yeah, remember the fairs? The uh, affairs? No, no, not the affairs, the fairs. Oh. Yeah, well. Yeah, we did a lot of fairs, and uh, I just have one memory of one of the funniest moments for me. Yeah, what was that? Well, you got paid. No. We had people that returned each year to catch the show. Yes, yes, I don't know why. Well, because they enjoyed it. Oh. Mm. This one year, this group of guys that always came to the shows every year, and we were doing their material. I do the. I have a set routine, pretty much, that I use for most of the fairs. Yeah, when well, you remember it, I remember it. You don't. I do. You do not. Listen, what? I'm talking. So am I. Well, yeah. When I'm talking, yeah, you keep your mouth shut. When I'm talking, you don't keep your mouth shut. Thank you. Yeah. All right. This is what happens, and cousins marry. Will you leave me alone? <laughs> Anyway, uh, these guys would turn up every year, and uh, this one year they decided to have a bit of fun with us. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> so I did the routine. I did a gag, a setup, and a punchline. Right after the punchline, guess what? Yeah. They all held up cards with score numbers on them. Big white cards with big black numbers from 1 to 10. Yeah, we failed. No, we had fun. That was sort of like our own gong show. Yeah. So anyway, uh, just to say we love doing the fairs. We'd like so much to be back at it again. Yeah. Uh, we have done fairs uh, right across Canada and the United States for many years. And it's time to get busy again. I hope so. Nice talking to you. Say goodbye. And goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Spandy Andy. And let me tell you the funniest thing that ever happened to me at a fair. One time, I was out there dancing, encouraging everybody to dance along with me, when this young child, about two or three years old, had to join in for everything. In fact, this kid was so in love with the dancing and the music that he stole the show from me. The rest of my 30-minute act became all about this kid. And that was awesome. It was my easiest and funniest show. In fact, a few weeks later, a story came out in the Daily Mail about the street performer that got showed up by a kid. And that was me. I embraced it, I loved it, and I can't wait to get back to fairs so I can dance with everybody again. Wouldn't that be awesome? If we could get everybody to dance now. Hello everyone at CAFE, it's Roger Boucher here. I really enjoy performing for fairs and they're some of my most fond memories. In fact, my first performance was at the Prince Albert Exhibition, which got my career started in magic. I then, of course, got to perform at many other different events and a couple of years ago I performed at Lethbridge Hoop Up Days where I performed 30 shows in 5 days. That's 6 shows a day. It was a crazy amazing schedule. I got to meet so many wonderful people. The workers were incredible. They made sure that we were taken care of as performers, which was really nice of them. And also I got to, the other performers were great too, because I pulled up some of the performers on stage during one of my hypnosis shows, because I do magic and hypnosis. But during the hypnosis show, I got the stilt walkers to come up on stage as giants to the, the spectators and the volunteers that were hypnotized which was incredible. It was a wonderful experience. And the crowd just went crazy. So I, I really enjoy incorporating as much of the surroundings and ambience into my shows as possible and just really enjoy performing for fair. So I hope you guys are all having a great time and staying safe wherever you are. And I look forward to performing for your events in the future. Take care again. My name is Roger Boucher. Have a wonderful day.